right, how are you guys doing? So it's official in Hawaii. We actually started today's the first day of our lockdown. Um, so I guess everyone has to stay home till April 30th. I think they said it was like 38 days. So it's kind of a long lockdown. But that's right, do more YouTube videos. Okay, so hopefully we're gonna continue with, with uh, Cognito Town, that's the name of the song. And hopefully you guys are okay with this drum pattern. Hopefully you're okay with the slide, G, pick two strings and hammer on, let it go, pick two strings, slide down from E to D, and C, okay? So, if you're not comfortable with those two, just give it more time, okay? There's no, you don't have to rush, there's no reason to, you know, just because I, I uploaded the next video, that doesn't mean it's time to actually move on if you're not ready. Okay, so uh, today what we're gonna do is just kind of expand on that, and instead of doing this, down, down, up, and down, 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 up, and down. Now we're gonna throw in the chords. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. I'm not gonna actually write out the chords on the board, okay? Hopefully our communication skills have improved over the previous episode. So the chord, the first chord is a G chord. You guys know the G chord? Like something like this. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down, down, up. On the up, we're gonna add the high D. So down, So same pattern, down, down, up, down, 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 up, and down. Okay, so you guys can try it. Down, down, up, and down. Okay, after that we're going to change to the F add 9 chord. Okay, or just the F chord like this without the, the top. So um, E string space number 1 and we're gonna add the high C. So this is just an F chord with the high C, or F at nine chord with the high C, and it's gonna sound like this. Down, down, up, and down. Okay, so we got from the G chord. Down, down, up, and down, 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 up, and down. And then I'm gonna use, they call this a power C. Okay, and basically this is like your C chord, but we have no E note in there. G. So we're actually holding the G and the high C. Here we're going to go down, down, up, and down. Okay, so one more time. High G, high G chord. That's it. That's 
the whole intro to the song, okay? So, <clears throat> when you're trying to put it together, it might be a little confusing because there's a lot of things going on, but just remember to break it down, your right hand. And just take it one chord at a time, G chord. Yeah, this might be a little difficult for you in the beginning. Um, for some reason, um, you know, with music, especially if you're a beginner, we tend to hear the downbeats a lot stronger, right? So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And what, what this means is it's easier for us to actually do changes with our left hand when it's on the downbeat because we can feel those beats. And it's a little more difficult in the beginning to do things on the upbeat. So, for example, if I said So that might be easier if I said down, now change down, change on the down, 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 and down. That would be a lot easier for most of you, but we're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna add the D, high D on the up, which is which makes it a little bit more difficult, but you just gotta keep going with it. about being able to feel the upbeat. If you can feel the upbeat, you should have no problem putting your finger there. Okay, so just take some time, practice that. So, I'm going to oil this chair. This chair is squeaky. Okay, so, G chord. And just practice this over and over. Okay, when you get comfortable, then you move on to the FN9 with the high C. And this one just, there's no changes. Next one, the power C. And then your regular C. Okay, so all together. Finally, 
this is a new lesson. But I'll save that for later. <clears throat> okay, so one more time all together, G chord. One, two, ready, go. pick up and feel good, you know? Here's a song entitled Cognito Town. Take some time to listen to it, okay? And what you're going to notice is that when you record yourself and you play it back, you'll be able to hear everything. And you'll be able to hear every buzz, every, you know, if you have timing issues or something, if your finger is just, they're not hitting the strings nicely, you know, maybe you're using the side of your finger so it sounds like this. And you just got to listen to it because basically when you're playing, you're focusing on the strum pattern, you're focusing on the chords, and you're only listening, I'd say, about 20 to 30%. So maybe 20%, you're actually using your ears to hear what you're doing, and the other 80%, you're actually focused on your left hand and your right hand, okay? So try to record yourself. That's a great way to practice, okay? And now it's so simple. Just use your, <coughs> use your phone, um, put it on a stand, just like how I have my thing now. So my camera's on a stand, I can just play, I can talk, I can do whatever. So try that, I hope this works out. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And everyone, please be safe. It seems like the coronavirus is getting more and more serious every day. So do whatever you need to do, be safe, and practice playing the ukulele. All right, I'll see you guys later, have a great day. All right.